Yo, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. It is your boy Liam Ghost, aka Liam Vapes. I'm here with my boy once again. What's up, boys? Right there. Oh my, dude, that chair like, is think... fucking awful, dude. I don't know it's if you so guys bad. can hear that squeaking, but it is fucking ear piercing. I hate it so much. Let's try and stay in one position. We gotta fix that right now or another time. Let's get right into the video though. Today we are going to be reviewing the Aegis Pod by Geek Vape. We got the Beetle Black colorway. Um, it's not much more to say. Let's get right into it. To get really into this video, I gotta quickly say big shout out to Baffle. They sponsored this video once again and they're doing another giveaway for you guys. So big shout outs to them. This giveaway is a flash giveaway. It's gonna be happening every Sunday. They're gonna be giving away over five different vape devices to one of you guys at home. All you guys have to do is sign up with my invitation code. A lot of you guys have already signed up, so you guys are already um, signed up for the giveaway, but those of you who haven't signed up, sign up for Vaffle. Every Sunday, they're gonna be picking winners out of some of you guys. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get right into the video. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing of the Aegis Pod. Super excited to check this thing out, man. I've never even used one before. It looks pretty sleek on the packaging, not gonna lie. Like, this makes it look pretty sleek. Let's check it out though. Never seen one in the flesh yet. Oh, one second. The grand reveal, baby. Damn, that thing is a lot thicker than I expected. It looks, if you look at the picture, or just look at the actual device, it actually looks a lot thicker um, in real life than in the picture. In the picture, it looks kind of slim. But let's check out the contents of the box. So obviously we got the Aegis pod with the pod. And on the inside we should have our coils. Yep, so we got two coils here as well as a type C charger. And now let's get into the actual device, the itself. device itself. Now it charges with the type C, as you can see here on the bottom. Super, super fast charge, guys. I love any vapes that have a Type-C charger. Um, this thing is actually shockproof as well as waterproof, which is pretty amazing. It is super tough, super lightweight, weighing only at 73 grams. It's got a super slim body. And um, it actually, it's got a nice material on the side here. It looks super, super clean. It's just got the one button here. And here you can see the firing pins. It looks super clean, super well built. It's just five clicks to turn it on. You're gonna see that green light. And it's a super simple device, so there's not much more to talk about than just that. The pod itself has a 3.5 milliliter juice capacity, so it's got quite a decent amount of juice that can it hold in here. Um, here we got the coils for it. It comes with two G coils. These are mesh 0.6 coils. We're gonna pop it in right now. Show you guys, it's super simple to get them in. All you do is just push them in like this. And that's it. Sticks in there super nicely, comes out super easily. And here on the side, we got your juice fill spot. Super big hole, super easy to fill it. I'm gonna fill it up right now. We got some Jewel Mint. Big shout out to Maddie Smokes for hooking this shit up. how it fills oh yeah it feels super easy just gotta make sure it gets to both sides here and there we have it now we just gotta wait five to ten minutes just to let all the juice saturate into the coil and we're gonna get right into sessioning this thing now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am super excited to try this thing out it looks super clean it may be my next fucking all day vape i always switch through my vapes i'm usually always using the caliburn but I'm thinking that if I like this thing, I might just fucking use this on the daily just because of all the features with it. Like the fact that it's waterproof and shockproof is pretty beast. Like obviously if you get water in the mouthpiece, it's gonna fuck it up, but the device itself is gonna stay strong. Mm -hmm. So that's what matters. That's really what matters. And it feels nice in my hand, honestly, better than I thought. Let's Without further ado though, room. let's give it a rip. How's the jewel? flavor dude look how dense those clouds are bro you get some dense ass clouds for such a small little device eh not too bad juice is really nice too that? yeah bro that's way fatter clouds than the calibrine 
Dude, Geek Vape never misses, bro. Every vape they make is so fire. Yo, this Jewel Mint's kills. It is, right? <laughs> it actually tastes like Jewel Mint. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm fucking with it pretty hard right now. That's sick. The only thing that I was a little bit disappointed about is I was hoping it would be draw activated as well. Like, you know yeah. how a lot of vapes have a button, but you can just draw activate them as well? Yeah, I kind of like hate draw. clicking the button. But then again, my, my Calibrant's kind of fucked, so like... This button it isn't too flush, so if you did have it in your pocket and you had it pushed up against something, it will fire, which is pretty shitty. So, but that like, happens with almost all button vapes, yeah. to be honest. Like with, you just gotta turn it off before you put it in your pocket. That's the thing, dude. Is you gotta turn it off. Guys like me, when I get stoned, don't turn it off. It's kind of hard to remember to turn it off every time. The, the worst is when you're like about to go to bed and you like get your last hit, but you like pass out. And then you like don't even remember taking your last vape hit, <laughs> and then you don't know where your vape was, and then you wake up and it's like somewhere underneath your pillow or like yeah, underneath your dude. body, and the coil's just completely burnt out, like just because you laid on it all night. So shitty. Yeah. You know what's also shitty? When you're driving and you fucking you have it in your pocket, and you're like on the highway or something like that, and you hear it start firing. But you're like <laughs> driving, and you gotta like make sure to. Or keep you just your feel wheel. your pocket heating up, <laughs> and then you gotta make sure to keep your wheels straight, dude. Yeah. And you're like don't want to get into an accident. And you're like <laughs> fuck, fuck. Fuck, it starts getting warm and shit on your leg. <laughs> Dude, one of my buddies actually burned through, like, a whole, like, Nord pod doing that. Like, he burnt the pod to, like, melted the plastic into it, and it got stuck in there. Dude, OG fans have already heard this story, but one time I remember I had a Rolo badge, and I had it, like, right here in my cup holder, and it just started firing while I was driving, and I was like, what is that? I was listening to music really loud, and I was like, what is that sound? And it just sounded like a tss, and I just looked down. And I just see it starting to fucking melt. The pod was starting to fucking oh. melt. And I was like, holy fuck. I fucking pulled over. Jesus. I was like, Jesus Christ. Throw I grabbed it, it. I fucking threw it in the garbage can. And fuck. I was like, I'm out of here, man. Fuck that. That's fucking fucked. I hope it didn't light on. Like, I took the pod out, though. And I was like, if I didn't take the pod out, I bet you it would have lit the garbage, fan on, the garbage can on fire. Like, oh, that yeah. shit was like a little bomb, dude. The, the roller badges were pretty fucking shitty. I'm not going to lie. I remember when this first came out? Such bad airflow. So yeah. tight. This one has nice... Big airflow, bro. I'm fucking with this device hard, guys. If I had to rate it out of 10, I would rate this thing like a 9.5. Maybe even a 10, dude. What's, what, what would be a 10 before this vape, though? Like, what would you consider If it had draw activation, I think it would I be see. a 10 out of 10. That's fair. But it's just like the nice leather on the side, on the, in the middle and shit. Looks, it looks super clean. It feels super clean in your hand. It's nice and small and discreet. Super light fucking great vapor out of it like there's not much more you could ask for for like a pod device one thing that was unexpected though is i thought it would be pods like a soaring pod mm -hmm. like i thought it would just be a full pod but you actually yeah. just replaced the coil which is kind of nice honestly because it's good to keep your pod around you know i mean coils are always like, cheaper it's always cheaper to buy a coil rather than a pod i guess the pod is like that's Let's cheaper but like off there guys we got a fucking phone call i should always remember to turn my phone on airplane mode when i'm recording because that is the most annoying shit yeah that's true like i barely even remember what we were talking about <laughs> I, don't know. I honestly don't remember you know what this seems like a good time to end off the video <laughs> <laughs> we both just like perked and like poomed out and yeah right? what would you out? rate this vape though um honestly i'd rate it like an eight or nine uh personally i don't really like care for um coil replacement devices that's because i've owned a lot of them and i don't like getting the juice and shit on my hands and i like just like the convenience of just grabbing a new pod throwing it out and Fair also enough, another yeah. thing even though you own a pod device like um one of those vapes that you just replace the coils the pod you will have to replace eventually because i noticed the taste definitely got, does get affected over like use like over time it yeah. just depends if you like change your coil when you should yeah I guess. and if you make sure to wash it out if you wash yeah. it out with fucking boiling water it fucking makes some mint, I think. Yeah. That's Unless true. you put some like really gross juice in it and burn the pod and shit, then sometimes it can leave like a taste you just can't get off. Yeah, that's what I mean. The new pod, right? it's just, it just has it leaves like a little aftertaste that adds to mm -hmm. any juice you put in it. And no matter how many times you change the coil, it'll still have that little like aftertaste in the plastic. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that. That's yeah. a good point. Well, this that's the video, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. I definitely suggest you go and pick one of these up. I'm sure they're at a lot of your local vape shops. If you enjoyed this video, just drop a little thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, comment if you have any feedback or if you have any uh, suggestions for more videos. Even if you got some hate. You know, even if you got some hate, just drop that shit in the comment section. I don't even care. A comment is a comment. But uh, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, just fucking hit that sub button, turn that bell on. Peace.